Hello friends, welcome back to the Accent Designer. It's actually been a minute, but today I'm back to you with another crisp and quick Figma tutorial about creating simple VR prototypes without using any external resources. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so uh, here I have my Figma canvas open and that's pretty much what I'm trying to prototype in a VR space. These um, just like random Pokemon 3D shapes. Uh, there are a few things we have to keep in mind in order for this to actually work because we're going to be running a plugin. And the first thing we need to do is make sure that the artboard is 1920 by 1080. If we add it like let's say mobile frame or anything like that, it's not going to work. We're going to end up having uh, like some sort of an error message. So that's step number one. Step number two is try to uh, edit and adjust your shapes and the, the UI elements that you're trying to prototype individually first and make sure that even if you have like a mask layer surrounding these shapes, the mask layer is completely transparent. The third step, if you're gonna have like some sort of a vector shape um, after you combine them into frames and after you adjust them the way you want, make sure to individually select each one of them like this uh, and flatten them. So to flatten your vector shapes, you need to right click or uh, double click if you have a trackpad like myself and go to flatten and just click it. All right. So now as we have everything we need um, to start working on a prototype, let me copy and paste these shapes or just like drag them inside of the artboard like this and make sure they are placed in the center like that then i'm actually going to push it up a little bit just to give a little more room here then try to duplicate that maybe you just want to make it more uh, interesting and what i'm trying to do here we're not going to prototype that in a VR space in the way that we're trying to experiment with transitions and all this, but I just want to make sure that the shapes work the way I want it to work. Uh, so I'm going to change that here, Charizard, just like make it a little smaller, I'll pump up Ash a little bit, and now go into prototype. So I have all the shapes ready, and don't worry about the background because that's just going to be completely different in a VR space. It's kind of mandated by the plugin we're using. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to be switching to prototype and I want for the prototype to work uh, when I click these arrows to go here and back these arrows to go back there. Um, okay, now the interaction detail. Again, this is going to be a VR space, so we're not really achieving any like smooth transitions or a smart animate or anything of that sort. So in order for this to work, we have to keep it uh, set on instance and on click. So the trigger should be clicking and the transition should be instance. Now the fun part, how are we going to test this in a VR space? To do that, you can actually go to this icon here, the resources icon, click it and try to find, if you don't have it already, try to search for draft XR. I already have it, so I'm gonna run it. And just make sure that the main frame is being selected. And now what you need to do, because this is gonna be your first time trying draft XR, is to create a new draft. And once you create new draft, it's gonna ask you to create account. It's very simple. Just use your Google account or something like that or any other email that you wish to use. Uh, I already created a draft and I called it Pokemon. So I'm gonna run this one. And now I have my draft selected. I'm gonna publish draft. So now it's working. It's gonna open the browser. And now we can uh, see and just like move around our VR prototype the way we want. Again, it's a very simple tool for quick and rapid prototyping. If you're just trying to share your work with like a teammate or a developer, to make it easier for everyone to visualize what you're designing. And now if you're trying to view that on your phone, you just need to copy and paste the link, send it to yourself or send it to someone that you're trying to share this work with. All right, so that's pretty much about it for today, guys. I'm trying to be more active and upload more videos with just work schedule and school schedule. It's kind of getting crazy and um, I'm trying to do my best to upload more tutorials and actually value tutorials, not just to fill in some videos. 
So thank you very much for tuning in today and let me know if you have any topics that you would like me to talk about on this channel. Thank you very much and see you next time.